fairly well. I'll go and sell the new stuff, and otherwise... Oh, jeez, I had a... I had a farm once. At least the trees are okay. So, if it's unshipped, get it shipped. Silver boots would probably be an, uh, something better than my current heavy boots. I should check that. Otherwise, sell, sell, sell. Not the fodder, though. That stuff's useful. Okay, as I suspected, the big bird comb is something that we had not sold before. I've got a whole load of planting to do tomorrow when everything uh, clears up a bit. And it will. Is somebody suggesting that going to sleep might protect my crops? No, it's still going to do a full day's worth of damage. I think every hourly tick it applies a, uh, a bit of sod your crops to your field. And just imagine if I hadn't plucked all my uh, all my corn at the start of the day, this is what it would have been instead. Oh well, there's less work to do if we just start now. Now if this were back to nature, we would be getting floored by this. Unless we have the kappa berry. You know what, right now I really don't need to be seeing all the uh, stats about my field. It's not all bad, sometimes you get some cool stuff winding up on your farm, and it is one good way to get loads of uh, wood and stone. Unfortunately, we already have limitless access to wood, courtesy all the uh, shining tree that we have planted. It just takes uh, an annoying amount of time to harvest it. And we'll soon have all the stone we can need when we have access to field dungeons. Which I think is quite soon. It might seem a bit dull and monotonous, but I think this is kind of fun in a way. Unless you are doing it specifically to get wood or stone, in which case it's a real drag. I really, really hope that my, uh, my crystal seeds are okay. I'm going to have to check up on those shortly. Grinding. One of the things I did was I went over to uh, Leon Karnak and I spent a wee while beating up little squirrels. And what I managed to do from that is amass a huge collection of double steel and tenfold steel. And we'll look at those just shortly. I think I found one earlier when I was playing on stream. But uh, what I did was I forged myself some gloves. The these gloves, the brass knuckles, and I put some uh, scrap metal plus on it. And what scrap metal plus does is it ensures that those uh, gloves are going to do one damage per hit. Every time you hit a squirrel, it drops one of the double steel or tenfold steels. And it only has, I think, four hit points. So most weapons will just kill in one hit. Not these super crappy gloves, though. Thanks to that, I am now rolling in all the double steel I could ever need. Tenfold steel is really rare, but I still picked up like half a dozen of those. There we go, it's not perfect, but that deals with some of this. Oh, this is pretty horrible. Feeling real smug about cutting down some of the things I did now. Means tomorrow is going to be a bit of a write-off, just 
fixing my farm and planting my crops. There's only one day left of summer, but I'm going to spend it... Um, well, I am still going to plant all the corn I have, because otherwise it's just going to be sitting there until next year. That's not what we're all about. Because uh, we are kind of in the point where we can make serious money if we want to. And as a general rule, I want to make serious money. for our hero Marvin here. Oh, dearie me. There is only one of my cabbages left alive. So I am going to have to buy and plant quite a few more of them. Because one of our quests is to, I believe, get 20 bok choy, 20 cabbages, and 20 onions. Not feeling so hot about that right now. Okay, poor Marvin is getting super tired here. Well, too bad. You have commitments, boy. I like to harp on about the trees, but they're not that precious. They could die right now and I wouldn't be too bothered. I have managed to get loads of ingredients out of them. But it's just kind of nice that they constantly give me goodies. Wow, those pink turnips. Aren't those meant to be my super leveled up pink turnips? Dunno, can't remember. This stone just coming back and back. What kind of typhoon brings in such huge rocks that you got to do this to? Rocks are one of the things that really turned me off of the new Harvest Moon for the 3DS in a big way. You get some rocks on your farm and you got to wail on them with your hammer, and it will just kill you if you do that when you start up the game. It'll use all of your life points and then you just like keel over and I was not impressed at all. I was not impressed, period, by that game. Got a crazy amount of stone by the end of today. We're also just about out of RP, so I might just call it. Plenty of time in the morning to be dealing with all these as well. Our poor field. No. What we need is some food in our belly. Nothing gets us along quite like some pickle mix. Plus, you should eat every day. It gets up your eating skill. And yes, there is an eating skill. Delicious. Marvin only needs 10 minutes of sleep. Uh, yeah, I just had this idea for a long time that you did actually need to get a uh, little bit of sleep in this game. Like, going to bed before midnight, but I guess that's a complete fallacy. Uh, don't string people along, eh? you know as well as I do that Porco cannot be married. Disappointing though that is. Oh wow, I'm actually out of space for picking up stuff. Testament to just how much of this crap we've picked up. Let's sort it. Because there's a little bit of inventory management in this game. And then... So we started the day with something like 20 odd stone. And we're going to have a couple of hundred. This is just a real obnoxious part of the game though. Couldn't, would it be too hard just to have a button that ditch all the lumber here? Back to nature had a better system. And I'm sure they knew that, they just couldn't do anything about it. Deadlines or something. So if you wonder what I'm doing when I'm grinding the game, off stream. There's quite a lot of that. Okay, there is still something that we had to do whilst it's still uh, 
29th, kind of. That was go back to Springland. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. What am I going to do? I can't get past you, can I? No, no, I can't. Let me through. Hmm, okay, that's a problem. Guess I won't be picking up my uh, extra seed then. Well, there was something else I wanted to check. Can I remember what it was? Yes, I can. I wanted to go to Summerfield. Thank God my crystals are okay. Well, for now at least. Fired up Rune Factory 1 out of curiosity the other day. Funny thing is, they automated your lumber collection. Completely. No hauling it to the pile. Got so much wrong, but they got that right. There was indeed a lot of things wrong with Rune Factory 1. If you're interested in playing all of the Rune Factory games, start with 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. If you start with 3, you will not be able to play 2 or 1, because you're going to miss all of the... Uh, really helpful quality of life stuff. Ah, good evening, Zwer. Okay, that's about as much as I can hack out of my field for tonight. We need to give Marvin at least a little bit of resting. I wonder if there's something you can make just to use up the rest of your... Uh... Well, I don't want to go to bed with all this energy left. Fortunately, magical potions are available because we picked up all those Ellie leaves. Get that chemistry level buffed up. And also, if we cook with our, I think it's the oven, we should have access to... There it is. Corn on the cob. Reasonably high leveled and, well, it makes corn on the cob, which is worth good money. Just how much corn do we have these days? Come on out, corn. Shed loads of it, so couldn't hurt to make some corn on the cob. It's not that bad though, it really helps with the cooking level. And corn on the cob sells for reasonable money. Certainly more than the corn itself. Would you say the same about Paradox games? Start with EU1, then 2, then 3. Err. Your mileage may vary on that one. Wow, Magical Potion sells for good money. I should be making more of those. 2,500 a pop? They sell for more than corn and the cobs. And all I needed was, what, uh, medical grass and Ellie leaves? Aye, tripping over Ellie leaves. Okay, well, the day is done, my farm is ravaged, but we're going to go and fix it after we get our designated 27 minutes of sleep. What should I do today? A nice thing is that after a typhoon, it does pish with rain, as well it should. We are going to need our little hairpin equipped, though, wherever it is. There you are. Also... Okay, my boots have pretty high defense. My shoes would as well if I actually leveled them up, but that's my problem. So pumpkins, thank you, thank you, and... Yeah, I want some higher level pumpkins. Forget them. Forget them. Same with cucumbers, we already got what we needed here. And the last pink turnip. It's at level 6 though, and if it survives, we'll have good turnips available to us. Let's think of all the fruit juice we could be making for Chlorica. Mm. We've got our bok choy. Oh, we have got a lot of uh, cleaning up to do here. I should let them grow. Oh, 
Okay, we'll check our quests, because I have really got to fix this field. Death Stalkers? Couldn't even tell you what those are. But there's no generic shipping things here. Alright, today will be muckle a day of planting. Impressive defense by these pink turnips, though. They're not even the ones getting leveled up. Today is also Friday. I want to fight a giant uh, mushroom. Not any old giant mushroom. There is a specific one that I want to fight. If I can get the time and the team. And have already dealt with my farm. That's the dream, at least. Give it up, Kellogg. <laughs> okay, where to even begin? I guess picking up all this junk. smashing all these stones, I'm going to pick them up and just sell them. Got to get that gold crown for selling loads of stones, you know. And then we get whaling. You know, it feels a bit of a bummer letting down the schedule for a day. But there was no way out of it. I had to sleep. Dancing on that little sleep seemed just a bit dangerous. Yeah, post forms, uh, post storm fields are certainly ugly. But not something that can't be dealt with. Lack of health, though. I should have brought more food with me. So I'm so glad I bulked up on the pickles. Pickle mix can see me through some dark days, and as ever, gets that eating skill up. Goodbye, rocks. Yeah, I'll just sell all this garbage. I don't need it. The fur I like. The fur I'm keeping hold of. Come now, Jake. Be like our hero. He only needs ten minutes or so of sleep, maybe even less. Doesn't need any sleep, but. Uh, well, actually, if you don't sleep, you'll just catch a cold. You just eat cold medicine. Need for sleep is a uh, delusion. of the corn. Eventually you'll get a an ability to just push away or summon typhoons at will. It's a bit expensive on the princely points, but so very worth it. I don't remember how you get that ability. You might actually have to complete the game to get it. I should check on that one. Okay, that's two out of three all dealt with. We'll fix the last one and then we're gonna get planting. Got another nice shipment of dosh. We can spend that on whatever the heck we want. But it's probably going to be fa um, cash crops. Boy, what a mess. Ta -ta. 
The need for sleep might be an illusion, Jake. But think about it. If you don't sleep, who will get woken up by Chlorica? Oh, man. It's funny because there was a girl in Rune Factory 3 and her shindig was that she really liked to sleep a lot. But it was mostly just because she was super lazy. Chlorica ain't lazy, she gets her work done. Jake, just a reminder, 72 plants in each field. Aye, aye. Oh wow, I thought it was heavy rain all day. This is going to be pain for watering unless the heavy rain comes back. Drizzle is not a guarantee that things are going to get properly watered. So it might seem that I you know, didn't get to spend the day fighting, instead I've been tending to my field, but it's actually made me quite a bit stronger because I've gotten a lot of uh, skill points up from the hoeing, the chopping, the hammering, the everything. There we go. Job well done, I dare say. Shame about the remnants of these crops, but what are you going to do? Well, what I am going to do is ditch the garbage that I picked up. And the not-so-garbage stuff I picked up. Mm -mm. You could actually make some half-decent money selling the building materials. But it's just so much better to actually keep hold of them. Because if you want to buy them back, they're going to be ten times as expensive. And that is not a good return. Buy low, sell high. Makes anyone rich. Good, heavy rain has returned, I don't have to worry. Well, who worries anyway? So... If we think about it this way everything is sorted. It's going to be 18 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and a touch more. Okay, so we do need more of that. I'm going to want 8 of... no. Um, I wanted 16 of you, but that'll do. You I might as well grow anyway, since fall is right around the corner and you're just sitting there doing nothing. For the economy, you know. Otherwise, we'll just buy and plant what we can. Damn right I'm good at being good. Hmm. Serenity and uh, this place. Well, it's not a holiday today, right? Why is nobody minding the store? Why are you here, Arthur? Get back to work, Amber. Okay, Granny. Oh, sweet, you're on sale as well. Well, not you, you, but you know what I'm saying here. Hmm, actually I have more than enough of these things, that's fine. I would like more of these, but I want to get them leveled up first. So the question is, what else can I grow plenty of and make good money? Leek is one answer, but carrot might be better answer. Nah. Leeks actually grow really well. I could grow half a field of these quite happily. So I will. Thanks, Granny. But I am certainly going to need more of these, like my bok choys, my cabbages, they all die to death. Not so sure about the onions, I should probably check on that. But these guys, these poor guys. At the very least it'll net us some money, right? I want to buy some stuff off of Amber. Oh well, that's neither here nor there. Goodbye money. 
Let's get planting. very fast growing anymore corn since summer is over and summer is what makes it grow one and a half speed a little disappointed at all my corn being not very high level since I did as I recall uh, put a bit of effort into growing some high level corn come to think of it didn't I cut it down and uh, yeah I can't even remember if I tried to sell it at a uh, as a seedling or just as a growing crop well, it doesn't matter. What's done is done. No, that's a bad way to look at it. A very bad way to look at it. What level of uh, corn does Granny sell? I must maximize my profits. Sure, I sold my corn. No, I would have stuffed it in the fridge. My super high level corn and I shoved it in the fridge, didn't I? Nope, no, all is not lost. There we go. I'm going to sell that level 6 corn so I can actually have access to it. There we go. But, oh well, won't worry about leveling up my corn anymore. Shipping higher level uh, crops will make them available from the store. Now, it is time for the Great League. Welcome the Naga. That's why I prefer to keep my super crop leveling in the center fields where I remember them better. But that didn't help me out this time. Otherwise it looks like I wanted to grow a load of clovers. I'll believe that. do we have here? More onions, more bok choy. Why not? Now these toy herbs I wanted to grow to be high level, so I'm going to put them here where I get the high level stuff. And then this pink turnip's probably going to take a wee while to grow, won't it? Well, I'll use this area to also grow some higher level... what exactly? I could do the strawberries here. I would probably want to make this a fast growing bit of land though. Because I want some super good uh, strawberries super fast. So I'm going to grab this. Growth rate here is just one right now, so I'm gonna make it five times speed with high quality, and down go the strawberries. So they should grow to be pretty high level, along with a pink turnip. These toy herbs, well, they'll just do their own thing. And then there's Noel grass. Noel grass is really annoying, since it takes a long time to grow. We can, of course, offset that right here. Because what else is Formula C for? I could also grow it in the winter field, but I'm not a fan of using uh, those kinds of fields. They're just a pain in my mind. We're growing those things for the hell of it. And that about concludes the growth. 